Jet Boil Plush. Uh, 500 milliliters, two cups, 100 seconds boil. 100 grams, um, one of those gas canisters will last you 33 minutes. Uh, 100 gram, 500 milliliters of water, you have 20 boils. That's really good to know. Pull this whole thing out. Wow. Okay, what it comes with. Cover with a stainer and a sippy cup. Um, instructional. This is the stove with the starter and the adjuster for the how powerful that's going to be. Okay, and gas stand. One, two, three. It also has a cover on the bottom. This measuring spoon is says one cup, so there's a line, meaning two of these will be two cups, 500 milliliters, which is really good to have for one of those freeze dries cooking system. And this will let us know if it's boiled or not. So we filled up half a pot of water, 500 milliliters. I measured it out. This side here, 100 gram um, fill, jet boil. There you go. And now it's nice and steady. Twist it and turn it on. And flame is really powerful. Plug in goes, twist it. Now it sits in a good start. And the whole thing is stays together because it plugs it in. So nice. Okay, what we'll be paying attention is to this line. I think it's supposed to turn yellow. That way it will let us know it's uh, boiled. Okay, we are 16 seconds. We're looking for 100 seconds boil. It is about uh, 60 degrees outside, which is very important, obviously, during very freezing temperature, this probably would boil a little bit longer. Or during really hot days, a little bit faster. Weather does depend as well a little bit. We have only 20 seconds left. Is it going to boil? Another thing is, this becomes less powerful if it turns out of um, gas. Oh wow, it's boiled, you see? It's actually turning orange instead of yellow. And it's not even 100 seconds. There you go, we hit 100 seconds. It says it's boiling. Let's open it. Okay, it's not too hot. It's almost boiling. It's hot enough for me to cook with. Whole thing will turn orange. That will let us know, like this koozie. Now it's pretty safe to the touch still because of this koozie. It's still warm, but this is nice. I can warm up my hands with it. This is cool. Okay, now it's boiling. Um, now it's definitely a full boil. I think it did boil within 100 seconds. It start turning orange, but if you want a full heavy boil, you probably have to wait just a little bit longer. Wow, this side here, pretty safe to the touch. Not too hot. Twist it, pull it out, and this side here safe to the touch. I wouldn't touch this part. It's going to be really, really hot. I wonder if we could put this on. Will it melt? Okay. And now we can sit it down, even though this is still really, really hot. Okay, that is a good idea. I don't see it melting or anything. This orange will disappear uh, when it cools off. I really like that koozie a lot. Okay. The gas the stove this boom all in one CVV keychain tweezers comes with the holder and this is what it look like tuck and tweeze uh, so it closes this way there's a logo kitchen a hole and then you slide it over and there's a tweezers very nice so if you need to take out splinter that would be very useful. It's pointy. Good. And then whenever you want to close it back up, boom. Very unique. I really like this one a lot. Stanley Boil and Brew 
uh, French press. Instructional. Ooh, wow, check this out. Okay. The netted part for the coffee, like French press it. Boil water goes into here, coffee granules, and then French press it, and there you go. And then all the water will be in here. Just pull over to here, read the lid. Very cool. And obviously, this part can be used to boil water on camping stove or, or fire. Very comfortable grip like this or like this. And packs away pretty good too. All in one fry pan set by Stanley. Serves two person. Okay. So let's see what's inside. A cover, a cutting board, a spoon, spork, another spork. Ooh, I love this spatula. Uh, break it apart. It has one of those clips. It's so cool. Okay. This is a grabber. It's a spatula pen. It works in this way. So it doesn't lock anymore. So it doesn't unfold. Pushes this one and it will fold easy. So that's a lock. And when it's hot, I like it hot separate over the fire. If this was attached to it, it would have melted. So very easy to grab. Wow, very nice pen. Couple of plates. Okay, let's stick everything back in. Easy to take this apart. That's a really good idea. Okay, how does this fit? Nice and flat. Let's see if this cover works so well. Oh, it's tight. Once it's locked, let's shake all that stuff up. Nothing coming out. So all in one uh, pen set, beautiful. Too low. One, two, there's a stop, and a second one. To make it tight, there's a handle. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six for smaller tools. Let's fill it up with tools and roll it up, see what it looks like. Wow, here's a bunch of multi-tool screwdrivers. This is a multi-tool screwdriver. Um, so, ooh. All the big stuff can go in here. This can go either here or if it's a smaller pocket, uh, can go in here. You know what, that's a bit too big. So, I have to go in here. There's a mini screwdrivers can go in here. Electrical tape can go in here. Sweet. There are just a few tools. For example, that's obviously still really empty, like the smooth zipper. I roll it. So this is going to go in and over. And uh, this this easily adjustable. Same thing here. Put it in. This is completely empty. That's why it looks kind of small. So this is what it looks like with few tools. With thicker tools, it will be much, much more roundish. Handle, very nice. I like it. There's two handles here and here. That's cool. Vertex binoculars. Okay, uh, 10 by 42 Diamondback HD covers. Another cover here. Looks like we can add on a stop. Also adjustable for bigger and smaller face. This is how big they are. Fits my hand. I have big hands. There is a green water tower somewhere over there. Okay, let's see where they at. Let's see our water tower. Where is it? 
There it is. Now let's look at something closer, like looking at the birds. So both of those things are kind of more of a zoom in, zoom out, focus. That's cool. So looking at birds would be really nice or whatever. Both of this is focus to focus on to a different distance. If I adjust it the correct way, this right here, it will look like one like a window. It doesn't look like it has two. Like camera can only see to one because it has only one lens. And wow, you can see so far away. It's nice. This one is for distance focus and this one like a more of a precision focus. Once you get to something really close, like looking at a bird. Awesome. ESG safe micro bit set. Hold it this way, swivels, so very comfortable. There's star bits on this end, there's a, a flat head and a Phillips head on the other side. Pull one out. Ooh, it's tight in there, that's good. Will not fall out. Holds in there pretty tight. Okay. Very comfortable. Need another one. Pull one out. Nice. Slides back in this way. Okay, I like it. There you go. Toothpaste squeezer. Okay, it comes in two. So we got right here half empty toothpaste. Let's open this up and uh, slide it into here. There's uh, like a key. And we're gonna slide it right into it. Spin it and at the same time push it right here to get all the toothpaste forward. Oh, that's too full. Let me come up a little bit. Okay, let's close it. Okay. And there you go. Look how tight that is on the inside. So that way, no toothpaste is being wasted. So all you have to do is just open it, use it, maybe push the key a little bit more, it'll come out. And just set it like that. That's pretty cool. Zipper kit, everything you need for zipper lighter. So you have flinser fills and a holder with that and a lighter fluid zipper. Okay. Six uh, flint holders, push it through and take one out. Very easy. Let's already have a flint. Pull this out and um, this side here liftable or you can pour it into this little hole. Then we're going to do is open this and that's it it will self sealing and we're going to lift it like this close it back up and it will lock it and you have a really nice soft flame that's really nice garlic press okay comes with the garlic peeler Let's try this out. I have a few pieces of garlic. Some of them are really big. Wow. Might have to cut this in half. Let's put a garlic in. That's nice and comfortable. Wow. So much garlic one too. Okay. Another big one. Wow, that's a lot of garlic. Okay, this one should probably need to cut it in half. So it fits. Okay, let's use a knife, scoop everything down. Wow, that is nice. That's a lot of garlic. Cut it in half, and now it will fit easily. I like this garlic press. Very powerful. And one more. Big garlic, no problem. Wow. That works super well. Grab a knife. Scoop it all up 
and rinse that off, clean that off. That's a lot of garlic. I like it. It did really well. Okay, let's see if this will peel the garlic. One cloth. Wow. <laughs> wow. It peels it so well. I got that here. Electric kettle smeg. Uh, looks really nice. Retro. It has that here. Maximum 1.7 liters. Uh, six cups. Two cups. Press this to open. Fill it up to the max. How long it takes to boil water. It's obviously looks really beautiful. Okay, start, start. The light indicator is on and also it can be turned. It doesn't have to be lined up. It's still on. One minute in, I can hear the sizzle. We surpassed four minutes and sounds like it's about to finish boiling, but let's see. I hear it boiling, but it needs to do the full boil. So about seven, seven and a half minutes. And I actually overfilled it a little bit. Yeah, the line is on max. Yeah, let's see. That's it. Quiet pop. 24 inches screen matras blow up. Okay. Comes to the big holder. Ooh, comes to the pump. Inflate, deflate, super easy. Ooh, quiet too. I like it. Dura bean airbag, so that way it doesn't sink. 600 pounds capacity, 272 kilogram. I didn't realize how big it was. This is my kitchen counter and it's like up to my knee and I'm really tall, I'm 6'7". Let's lay down on it, see what it looks like. Okay, obviously we need a pillow, but it is like a bed. Wow, I'm 6'7", and my feet actually at the edge. That's never happened, especially if I put it next to the wall, I have a pillow. I actually fit, so it actually works for tall people really well. That's amazing. And look, I can just sit normally. It's not like a really low uh, air mattress, it's really low. Amazing. Okay, now I set it on deflate and deflate and pretty quick. I've been using these pool pumps for three years now. Really good. Uh, they've been sitting out in the winter time in the snow and still working in the summer time in the hot. And I'm gonna throw it in. It'll push the pool cover uh, down a little bit with the weight, so all the water will go in it. You can hear it's pumping. So I push it towards more of a middle. I let the pool cover fill up and I just put it in on purpose just to see how fast it's pumping it out. You see, the floor is really, really strong. Look at that. Also, they have pretty good automatic shut off once the water uh, stop flowing into the pump and it pumps all of the water, it will automatically stops. The rain actually intensified and as you can see this is pretty big pool cover and it's uh, uh, got all of the water out pretty quickly and keep getting it out. If you look at the hose it's still running but not as uh, much because uh, the water is not going in as fast and at the same time it's self-stopping when there is not enough water to pump out. 